Hello everyone and thank you for attending another Ikahau short how-to video. In this session we will be discussing the Ikahau packet capture application which is part of the Ikahau Connect solution. Once the uh, Ikahau packet capture is launched, uh, the following screen will appear. Uh, there's an option button. Once we select that option button, we can select the channel dwell time. That means how much each channel um, the, uh, the packet capture should capture the information for and then go to the next channel. So we can modify this, um, this uh, time frame uh, to any amount that we wish. And also uh, we can define which subdirectory all the captured packets in PCAP format will be um, saved or stored at. Uh, it is uh, important to note that uh, once we select the uh, channels that we want to do packet capture for, uh, the captured information will be only the packet headers for the Wi-Fi. It will not be the payload of the, uh, of the uh, data that has been transmitted and received between the transmitter and receiver. Once we start the capture, you can see that it is uh, capturing on the channels that we have defined here, 1, 6, and 11, and 36, and it will continue to capture until we stop. After a few seconds, I will stop this, and now you can see that the uh, account will ask for the, it recommends the uh, uh, file name and you can uh, save it to any file or directory that you wish under the PCAP format. Once it is saved, it is noteworthy to mention that the software, the Ikaho Capture application, which runs on Windows and Mac platform, is not able to do any analysis. In order to do analysis, users can use the traditional applications such as Wireshark, or they can use more advanced applications such as OmniPeak uh, or, the, or IPA, which is a very unique application and gives you a unique view of the wireless information or the packet captures that we have done. Uh, let's take a look at what we have saved now in the next uh, phase of uh, this uh, uh, presentation. Here we have uh, launched the IPA application uh, for packet capture analysis. Uh, once we go to the file, we say open file and we can uh, select the uh, files that we have captured. There's, uh, this is the file that was just recently captured. Once we do open the file, you can see it gets loaded into the software. And there is very interesting information that we see. With the first uh, uh, portion visualized, once we do the uh, capture, we can see the data rates that has been transmitted throughout. We can see all of the SSIDs that have been audible throughout the capture process. Uh, we can see the airtime utilization in real time, and we can select any portion of it. And then there is three disks that we have here, which is called the pies, and we can switch between the three. So if we want to select a packet one, then the packet will become here. If you want to select bytes, it will be here, or airtime is selected here. The way this works is that you can go to the um, first uh, donut, and it's broken into segments. And these are the APs that were audible. So they are broken down into various APs that we have throughout here. The second portion is the um, uh, basically the SSID that was active for each of these uh, access points. The third donut is uh, the receiver that was communicated with this specific SSID. And again, it's broken down into segments. And the last one is the um, all the management and control frames that are available for this uh, communication. So we can select any of these. And then if we want, we can go further inside. For example, if we select this access point, we go inside and then we can see exactly the total airtime that is available from this AP. And it's broken down into segments or, or SSIDs. And then this is the receiver. And this is the uh, quality of service data or management and control frames. Uh, we can click further in and then we can see more information as we go along for all of these particulars that we want to look at. If we want to look at a specific time frame, we can take a look at that specific time frame 
and we can move this along and we can see more information at any moment in time for the airtime utilization. Should we decide to see the packets, then we can sel select the packet portion and then we can see all the data for again any specific time frame. And if we want to dig in, deta in detail, we can see that detail as well. Moreover, if we can, we can go to the analyze section and then we can see all of the audible uh, SSIDs. For example, if we select the SSID of interest, which is this one, then we can see the broken down uh, details of the airtime utilization, uh, which is quite nice. And also we can see in interesting information such as high, high retransmit rate here and then if you want to know how to avoid that then we click more and then we find more information about that also we can see further details ab about what devices were connected at the same time uh, to this uh, to this ssid and uh, the details will be available to us uh, this concludes a short presentation of how the packets are captured by Ekehal packet capture application, as well as use of uh, using the IPA in order to show the information that has been captured. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching and we look forward to see you in the future presentations.